this video is sponsored today by a company that i met at the central florida gun show called hot shots reusable heat packs i want to show you what these things are they are really really cool but first off i'm going to kind of give you guys a little bit i'm going to put a link in the description below to the company here's their business card check it out hot shots reusable heat packs it's reusableheat.com go down they have massage therapy physical therapy arthritis sore muscles anything you want to use these packs for you can camping fishing hunting hiking skiing snowboarding sporting events any other outdoor activities or fundraisers you can actually put your business logo on these heat packs they're pretty cool so um anyway i wanted to let you guys know i'm gonna show them to you real quick so you can kind of see what they do this is one of the hand warmer packs right here each pack comes equipped with an activator switch when you hit that activator switch the entire pack turns crystallized and becomes 130 degrees watch this i'm going to push the button look at the button look at this it's starting to crystallize it's starting to crystallize and get in there see crystallizing and getting getting squishy and it looks like it's turning into ice but it's not it's actually turning hot this thing is so cool go to reusableheats.com tell jesse that drop it like it's scott sent you hey thanks for uh, thanks for your support also i want to let you know that with these particular packs in order to get them back to the liquid form you put them in a rag or a paper not a paper towel you put them in like a washcloth put them in boiling water for about 10 to 15 minutes and they get back to the liquid form and then you can reuse them if you want it for a cold pack toss it in the freezer for about an hour it gets really cold and then it's perfect for an ice pack so you got hot and cold this is better than icy hot go to reusableheat.com hot shots all right we'll talk to you later back to the video today we're going to fire at the uh, ballistic xylophone and we got some aerial footage today as well with the drone in the air this is gonna be awesome it's gonna be cool all right, we're gonna hit the ballistic xylophone. Can you see it right over there? I'm missing one because last time I shot one off and I haven't fixed it yet because I still don't know how to weld. I'll figure that out. But today we're gonna go with a nine millimeter. We're gonna do the FN57. We're gonna do it at the ballistic xylophone. You ready to go? Here we go. Let's start with the FN57. Got all 20. Let's uh move on to a different round. Let's move on to the 9mm, the CZP09. Alright, that was pretty cool. The ballistic xylophone is still full in effect. What do you guys think of that? That was pretty cool. And we got some aerial footage. Hopefully pick up some good stuff. We're gonna go back to the FN57. Here we go. The FN57, chambered in 57 by 28 against the ballistic xylophone. <laughs> I'm missing one, which is that one. But I think I hit quite a few times. Let's see. Let's take a look at this. 
there is FN, FN, you can tell the FN 5.7 hits from the 9mm because the 9mm is just a little bit more of a bigger splat. So there's FN, 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 FN. All those are FNs right here, 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 there, there. And a bunch over here. This is the 9mm. See the difference between the, nine, the FN 5.7? and the nine millimeter hit. The nine millimeter is a little bit bigger. So FN, I'll hear nine, 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 nine. Yeah, so we, we did pretty good on this thing. Getting better with accuracy. I was about, mm, I'd probably say about, uh, probably about 15, 15 yards away from the target and uh, we hit pretty well. So, hey guys, I wanna to talk to you real quick. I wanna give you a word of encouragement for today. You know, in a world that's seemingly going separate ways, it's our job to change that and bring us closer together as people. We are all in this world together and we're called to be people of love. Not to get all spiritual, but Jesus sat with sinners. He had dinner with the worst of people. He was called the friend of sinners. And guess what? We're in that category and we need to be loving like Jesus was loving. We're, we're here to support each other. And even when we don't agree with someone, we're here for support. I'm here to support you. I'm here to make sure that you guys are having a great day. Um, I hope you are. I hope you're enjoying the videos. If you are enjoying the videos, hit that subscribe button down there. Hit that bell notification. Let me know in the comments below here if you're enjoying the videos and what you think. What do you think I should do next? What, what, kind, of, what kind of stuff should happen? So thanks for watching. Drop it like it's Scott. Enjoy the day. Enjoy the journey. Until next time.